So if you study the NBMEs and free 120s, one of the most common chief complaints that you're going to get is back pain. So you got to know it for test day. Let's go through it. Let's say you get a question, back pain plus point tenderness on physical exam. You should be thinking of a vertebral fracture. Remember vertebral fractures come in three flavors on the USMLE. Number one, prostate cancer metastasis to the bone. Number two, the little old lady who has low estrogen, osteoporosis, and is going to have a vertebral compression fracture. And finally, a patient who is going to have vitamin D deficiency due to malabsorption thinks celiac or Crohn's who is going to have vertebral fractures because of osteomalacia. So let's say on the NBME, you have an athlete who presents with back pain plus paraspinal tenderness. You're going to be thinking of back sprain or strain. What's high yield for us to know is that if there are no red flags of back pain, such as incontinence, you can forego imaging. And the next best step in management is going to be NSAIDs and reinsurance. Bed rest is not the correct answer. You need to make sure you enroll these patients in physical therapy, tell them to move around more as you don't want the back to freeze up. So let's say you have an obese male who ended up picking up heavy boxes and suddenly has sharp back pain that is going to radiate to the toes. You're going to be thinking of a herniated disc. This is also known as sciatica. On physical exam, you'll have a positive straight leg test. The next best step in management is going to be getting an MRI. And an important step one integration here is whenever you have a herniated disc, it is going to be herniation of the nucleus pulposus. Remember that that is going to be derived from the notochord embryologically. All right. And finally, let's say on the USMLE, you have an elderly patient who is going to have back pain that is worse when climbing up a hill and better when leaning forward. You're going to be thinking of spinal stenosis. This is classically associated with the shopping cart sign in which the flexion is going to cause you to have less compression of the spinal cord. So with back pain questions on the USMLE, remember if you see red flag symptoms such as urinary or fecal incontinence, the next best step in management is get emergent imaging. Follow me for more USMLE tips to help you think like the test faker.